Uh, it's been fantastic today. It's been so busy. Uh, lots of people to meet. Um, uh, everyone seems to have, be having a great time. It's, you know, there's, there's so much to see for folk. You know, it's like a full all day event, you know, like just to get round the place. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm glad everyone's having a good time. And it's, these conventions are always um, so good natured, you know, and everyone's happy to be here. So it's, it's always a joy. Well, you know, um, I've been very lucky in my career, you know, and you, you, at a stage in my career, sort of, these big sort of movies came along, you know, and I've, as I say, it's, there's so much luck involved in the acting profession, you know, there's so many fine actors out there that just didn't get as lucky as I did, you know, so I always feel very grateful about that, and uh, that's why it's nice to come to these conventions, because you you um, uh, connect with the people that have seen your films, you know, and that really appreciate your films. Uh, and that's very rare in any profession for people to come up and say thank you for being in that film. It was my pleasure. I'm glad you enjoyed it, you know. But uh, it does your heart good. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, they are, yes, yeah. I mean, all the... I'm not saying all. But I think television now is producing some fantastic drama. You know, like True Detectives, like Game of Thrones, Boardwalk Empire. Just tremendous stuff is coming out there, you know. And it's all, almost, you know, all your, your top actors are sort of gravitating to television, you know, because, you know, Game of Thrones is like a big feature film every week. You know, that's how big it is, you know. Three units working in different parts of the world that's, and that's three big film units, you know, huge. And putting that together is a tremendous feat of logistics apart from anything else, apart from the fantastic writing, the great performances from the actors, wonderful directors. It's a remarkable piece of work. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I you know, it's, it's one, always great to work in a big movie because it's tremendously exciting and you know it's going to be very high profile and things, but I think it's always important to work with uh, young and independent filmmakers who are just making their way, you know, and obviously you don't get paid as well, sometimes you don't even get paid, but the fact is that it sounds a bit pretentious to say you're putting back into your profession, but I love working with with young directors and young actors, because that's the future of the industry, you know. Uh, um, it's uh, with uh, Craig Fairbrass, um, who was in Rise of the Foot Soldier and all that sort of stuff. And it's a gangster movie, it's a pretty violent gangster movie, but what gangster movie isn't a violent movie? Um, but it was good fun, you know, Craig's a friend of mine and asked me to come along and uh, and uh, help out, so that was a great pleasure to be with him. I hope it's a, a huge success for him. No, oh no. I think that's one of the really clever things that, that George Martin um, created, was this idea that, you know, even in the first season, you know, there was Sean Bean, he was the, he was the star of the show, and then suddenly, he's dead. You know, and it, it just makes the audience go, oh my goodness, what? Where, what do I do now? You know, who do I follow? And he keeps doing it, you know, all these, the, you know, Mormont being murdered, the Red Wedding, you know. It's, it's great because it keeps that freshness for the audience, you know. You can't sort of say, I'm going to follow that character because you just don't know. Jon Snow. Jon Snow. That'd be great. Yeah, because I think Mormont and Jon Snow are a, a sort of avuncular association, you know, he was this older man whose, whose son had gone off and he sees this young man who has the qualities of, of, uh, of kingship about him, although he would never have said that to him, you know. But I, I enjoyed when he, when he gave um, John so Snow the sword, I thought that was, an, uh, that was a, a really enjoyable scene to play because there was a, a subtext to that scene, you know, of passing over the sword sort of thing. It was, I love doing that. Yeah. That's the sort of stuff I like doing. 
Kit's a lovely kid, very unassuming and uh, a joy to work with, absolute joy, fine young man. Probably uh, David Lynch, maybe, the director. Um, as everyone knows, he's you know, the most astonishing director, does incredible groundbreaking work um, and a man of, of high principle. And uh, yeah, I, I don't suppose I will work with him, but he's, he's one of the type of people I, I would like to work with, yeah.